Hey you, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Jenny Prochka from Els Indigo and I make videos about journaling, goal setting, and spirituality. Today it's time for my monthly bullet journal plan with me. This month's theme is inspired by the blood full moon of October, which you can find in my article linked down below, the full moon names of the third harvest. In these videos, I like to give you extra information about this particular month's full moon names and seasonal background. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna share a special announcement with you. For the entire month of October, all of my private monthly spirituality journaling prompts will be made public so you can see them. At the end of October, all of these videos are gonna be private again. So if you are interested in journaling and you wanna make sure that you don't miss these videos in the future, check out my private monthly spirituality journaling prompts. The link is in the description. If you're seeing this video after October, don't worry. You can get access to all of these videos and some extra goodies like wallpapers and other journaling pages and eBooks from me in the Owls and Indigo Resource Library. That link is also in the description. Now let's go ahead and get into my journal and plan together. First, I'm starting off with my cover page. I'm using the Dymo Label Maker for October and then I'm just filling in the monthly calendar. And above, I'm gonna be working on my moon wheel. This is gonna have all of the moon phase dates, which you can see down below. I have a separate notebook. If you wanna see how I set that up for all of the moon phase dates for the rest of the year, I'll leave it linked up above and down below. After I put in all these moon phase stamps, I just write the date of the moon phase next to each moon phase icon. That way I can easily flip back and see uh, when the next phase is during the month. Now I'm moving on to a monthly overview page where I can see the entire month a little bit bigger. As you can see, I made six rows instead of seven, but that's okay, it's not a big deal. Uh, this is something that I normally just glance at anyway. It's not something that I do a lot of planning from, so it was okay that this mistake was there. Then I fill in the dates and put the moon phases and any other special icons uh, for events that are happening during the month. Now I'm moving on to my weekly spread. As always, I like to keep these very minimal and very simple. I have a design task column and an other task column. And then for my actual week days and week spreads, I'm using this letterpress stamp set that I have just been waiting to use forever and felt like it was time this month. Uh, so I'm putting in M, 2, T, 3, W, 4, and so on for the days of the week and the dates. And then under that, I put my three most important tasks for the day. And further down the page, I have an hourly log that starts from eight and goes till 6 p.m. And in between, I have a big wide section there that is open for any other tasks that pop up on the day that I wanna make sure I get done. If you like this video, then you might like owlsandindigo.com. I share a lot of information about the moon and journaling over there. The link is in the description. The common signs for the full blood moon are bare fields that have already been harvested, crisp nights, and the final crop coming in from the fields. This moon also served as a signal that it was time to hunt for game. The other names of the third harvest full moon are the harvest moon, the travel moon, dying moon, hunter's moon, kindly moon, blackberry moon, blood moon, Growing up on a Midwestern farm, this was my favorite time of year. Farmers in our area were shooting the grain crop up into silos and hunting season was in full swing. The crisp air and football had set in for life in a small town and our nights were spent on bleachers cheering at bonfires or on hay rack rides. To see the rest of the full moon names of the year, check out the link down below. For this month's full moon watercolor print, I decided to do something a little different. I made it a lot darker than the actual painting and made the red really pop. I hope you like this version of the postcard. Make sure you check it out in the shop. At the end of the year, there's gonna be an original full moon watercolor painting for each of the full moons. So make sure you grab all of them as the year goes on. There will be a new one every month with each bullet journal plan with me. The link is in the description.
If you like journaling, then check out my private monthly spirituality journaling prompt that goes out on the first of every month. You'll receive a private email from me, the secret monthly spirituality journaling prompt, a private video explanation, and a peek into my private journal entry for the exact same question. Sign up now before the first. The link is in the description. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.